Hi everyone, I wanted to show you this non-typical mule deer I shot during my live stream. Hope you enjoy. Oh shit! Oh look at that! Waiting, and I found a non-typical. There you go. Oh, it looks decent. For a uh, mule deer non-typical. Yeah. Not the biggest I've shot, but he'll do. I'm pretty sure the biggest non-typical mule deer I've shot was a 380. This one's up to 185. Should I lodge it? Don't know if I should. I can get bigger non-typicals than that. Um, it's worth the money to get the lodge if you use GM for your trophies. If you plan to use EM, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, so in that case, if you're a new hunter, I'd try to avoid it because you don't have that much GM stocked up from mission completes. But if you're a hunter that's played the game for a long time, and got quite a lot of GMs that you can use, then uh, yes, the trophy lodge is worth it. But otherwise, I'd say stay away from it unless you have a lot of GM. Alright, doing this the old fashioned way. Yep. Stop where the tree is so it can't shoot him. I think I can shoot through that little tree, but I don't want to risk it just in case. Behind a rock now. Typical. Come on, mate. Oops. There's another one to my right. That was a female, I believe. Okay. Here he is. Bullseye, right in the heart. So, quick, efficient kill. Wait, what? Wasn't he... Wait, what? He said he predicted up to 185 in score, but it gave me a 204. What the shit? Okay, I'll take it. Heart, left lung, liver. <laughs> it's a tops, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, weird. <laughs> I'm done. No, don't give up, man. Keep playing the game. Just gotta use no camo like me, man, and get the trophies quite easily. That's all there is to it. Um. Quite a shit spot that I shot him because of the twigs and shit there. Um, and T. Humble. No. Casual. Probably gonna have to get down low. Reverent. There we go. Hang on a second. Maybe if we go. Whoops. Look at that. No scope. You can actually see that there's no scope on the muzzle loader too. So this is the hard part of the trophy shot. Oh shit. 
Don't want to kiss it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, shit. Camera's spazzing out. Ah, stop. It's like trying to kiss the camera. Oh, God. Okay, stop. Shit. Oh, my God. Would you stop? What the shit is wrong with the camera? I'm not doing anything. It's just spazzing out. Far out. Oh, my God. Stop. This camera, man. Shit. What, the, what is it doing? Why is it doing that? Oh, my God. You stupid freaking thing. I'm going to have to snap this so fast. <sighs> this camera man is giving me the shits. Alright, there we go. Oh, another call. Hang on. Do that. Like that? There you go. You can kind of see it. I mean... <laughs> no. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. No, no, no. It's best if I probably take it. Mm, might have to turn around, guys, unfortunately, here. Yeah. Because um, I'm going to have to turn it around. Oh, boy. Because if you didn't see, the background for the antlers wasn't the best. So I'm going to have to turn it here. Oh, God. Not a pretty sight. <laughs> hang on. Let me refix it again. There we go. Oops. See, now that's a better background. I should have did this. Did this from the other uh, start. I don't like how his legs are like this, but I mean, it's the only thing you can do, because if you tuck the legs in, um, the animal just keeps flopping over and doesn't really cooperate. There we go. See that? That improved it ten times better. Like, look at that. You can actually see the antlers now. Oh, look, there's an elk on the right-hand side running off. But, um, see that? Improve your trophy shot. So much better if you just look at your uh, your background as well. Take that into into factor. I mean, there you go. We'll take it on a bit of a lopsided, something a bit different there. But see now you can actually see the antlers from the background. All right. Um. Chroma, no shadows, no. Warmth. Oh god, these filters are terrible. The warmth and glacier ones. I think we'll just go with no filter. Alright. You can even see the uh, bullet hole there. Um, should we taximatize it? Should we? Um, should we taximatize it? Hmm. I'm not sure, man. I'd like a mule deer over 300. But, 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 but. <laughs> it does have a bit of a weird shape to it. To be honest, I haven't seen a non-typical like this, where the antlers are, like, fairly normal, and they're, like, kind of going a bit off. He's got that, like, sort of square sort of look to him. So I think we will, actually. Yeah, we'll do it. There we go. I don't think I have any room left, though. Um, yeah. Um, I might have to remove Mr. Sheep over here. Uh, small plaque. Yeah, see? I've run out of room. Look at all my rares here. <laughs> I don't know where to put them. <laughs> yeah, they're not all rares. There's some. There's some old ones. Um, where is? Oh, is this it? No. This is it. This one here. So I suppose I'm gonna have to get rid of Mr. Sheep because he's not a rare as such. He's just a high-scoring one. Oh well, rip. There you go. Wasted 2,000 GM on him. <laughs> All right, there we go. Put the mule deer there. So now we pretty much have a non-typical of all the deer species. Yeah. 
because uh, the mule deer is here. There we go. Um, I'll put him like that. So we do have a non typical black tail. See? We'd like a higher scoring one than that. Actually, I think. I don't know if you've guys seen, but check out check out the leaderboard for non-typical blacktails. See if you can get a picture of one. And they look absolutely really, really nice. Like, I think they're the best looking non-typicals. It would be the blacktails or the uh, the mule deers for, like, high scoring ones. The white tail ones are pretty good. But uh, they're a bit too crazy for my taste. But definitely something to, to look at, though. This is the, the 316 one. I think I do like the mule deer non-typicals and the black tails more than the white tail non-typicals though. That's it for this video. Remember, if you would like to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.